you know what we'll do because we have drawn red ball first ball is red so what you should do they told that you should note the color and add two more two events are said to be mutually exclusive if they do not have any common element exhaustive means if you combine all the events you should get sample space e by e1 what is meant by e by e1 e is common event probability of drawing a red ball from first ball what is base theorem formula p of e1 by e can be written as p of e1 into e by e1 divided by welcome to the session dear students today i'll go ahead with the problems of probability that is base theorem problems so now an urn contains five red so x is 13.3 starting from the first problem an urn contains five red and five black balls so in a bag or urn we have container with five red and five black balls and they told a ball is drawn at random we'll take one ball at random and its color is noted we'll see its color and then it is returned then we'll put it back and more two additional balls of same colors are drawn so now more two additional balls of the color drawn are put in the urn so suppose if i take one red ball i'll add two more red balls that is the thing or if i take a black ball i'll see its color i'll note the color black and i'll add two more black balls and then what is the see they told first whatever you take you note and return it then add two more of same then the ball is now then a ball is drawn at random what is the probability that second ball is red so what is the probability that second ball is red so now <coughs> number of red balls initially so two cases are there two cases means uh, case one case one means first we'll draw we'll note and we'll write case one so uh, number of red balls in case one is five red balls are there number of black balls is five black balls are there drawing a red ball so event e i'll call it as drawing a red ball Right, or event, I call it as uh, a drawing a red ball. What is the probability of drawing a red ball in the first case? P of a, P of a is exactly five red out of total five plus five ten. Total number of balls is ten balls. Five by ten, one by two. Probability of drawing a red ball is one by two. Now second case. See, I have drawn the red ball. I have drawn the red ball. And I calculated probability. Now, after you draw, you'll put same two more balls. So now, what we'll do? Because we have drawn red ball, first ball is red. So what you should do? They told that you should note the color and add two more. Now, already five red are there. For five red, you'll add two more. So it will become now seven red balls are there and five black balls are there. Total, we have twelve balls. So now, what is the probability of drawing a red ball? So probability of a drawing a red ball is 7 out of 12, 7 by 12. This is one case. So in the first case, uh, 1 by 2, probability of drawing first ball is red. Probability of drawing second ball is red, 7 by 12. So now second case, case 2. In case 2, I will draw first black ball. So I am drawing, so there are, so the, this is 5 red and 5 black are there. Suppose in the first case, I will take black ball. So, what is the probability of drawing black ball? Probability of drawing black ball, P of B is drawing black ball. What is the probability of drawing black ball? So, number of black balls 5 divided by total 10, 1 by 2. Now, then I will, then after you draw a black ball, you will note it and you will add 2 more. You will add 2 more. So, now 5 black balls become 7 black balls. And... Uh, Red balls will be 5 only. Now, probability of A. A means what? Drawing a red ball. A, drawing a red ball. So, in second case, I am drawing a red ball. How many red balls are there? 5 out of 7 plus 5, 12. 5 by 12. So, now, both the possibilities. So, what is the question? What is the probability that the second ball is red? Probability that second ball is red. Probability that second ball is red. This is the question. What is the probability that second ball is red? Is yes. second is red. 
is equal to so first one red and second one red is one possibility 1 by 2 and 7 by 12 the other possibility is what first one i'll draw black one second one is red so two cases so both are independent so so this is the one case where first is red second is also red here first is black and second is red so in both the cases second ball is red so now i can take 1 by 2 common to simplify so i'll have 7 by 12 plus 5 by 12 so that will become 1 by 2 into if you take lcm 12 is the lcm 7 plus 5 so that is 1 by 2 into 12 by 12 12 by 12 is what 1 so answer is 1 by 2 12 12 cancels 1 by 2 dear students what you should understand is what is the probability of drawing second ball red is so first ball is also red and second ball is also red is one possibility and first ball red but second ball black first ball black and second ball red is other possibility in both the cases second ball is red in first case probability of getting as the second ball as red is 1 by 2 into 7 by 12 and second case red ball as second ball is 1 by 2 into 5 by 12 both the cases you add you will get it now from here purely base theorem conditions what is p of uh, e e i by e is equal to where e i e 1 e 2 e 3 are mutually exclusive events p of e i by and mutually exclusive and exhaustive two events are said to be mutually exclusive if they do not have any common element exhaustive means if you combine all the events you should get sample space so now p of e i by e can be written as p of e i into p of e by e i divided by sigma p of e i into p of e by e i or simply speaking suppose i have two events which are mutually exclusive i have many events two events which are mutually exclusive i call them as e1 and e2 two events i am calling them as mutually exclusive means e1 and e2 do not have any common elements and they are exhaustive exhaustive means what if you do e1 union e i should get e back See, E1 and E2 are said to be mutually exclusive if E1 intersection E2 is null set and we call them as exhaustive if you do E1 union E2 it should give you sample space. Not only two more than that also you can take E1 E2 E3 depending on the situation. Now in each problem now our task is read the problem and define E1 E2 and E, e means common event. Event E I call it as common event. So now okay. A back contains four red and four black balls. Another back contains two red and six black balls. One of the bag is selected at random and the ball is drawn from the bag is found to be red. What is the probability that it is from first bag? So in this experiment, they told there are two bags, bag one, bag two. This is bag one, this is bag two. And also they gave four red and four black in first ball, four red and four black in first bag. And also they told uh, two red and six black, two red and six black in second bag. And one of the bags is selected. Out of these two, any one you should select and you will draw a ball. And that ball is found to be red. What is the probability that it is from first bag? So now we will define the events. E1, E1 selecting a first bag selecting first bag selecting bag one and define event e2 e2 selecting bag two e is a common event e selecting a red drawing a red ball drawing a red ball so like this i define now first because we define now we'll symbolize what is given so now probability of E1, what is meant by probability of E1, probability of selecting first bag. So probability means what favorable by total, how many bags are there, two bags, so denominator is two and how many first bags are there, one, so P of E1 is one by two, probability of selecting second bag is also what, one by two, one second bag out of two bags and then they gave P of E by E1, what is meant by E by E1, E is common event probability of drawing a red ball from first bag i am written p of i have written p of e by e1 i am writing what p of e by e1 e by e1 means what 
probability of e means what drawing a red ball given that from first bag or i can say probability of drawing a red ball from first bag is in first bag how many red balls are there four divided by in first bag how many total balls are there four plus four eight four by eight that is also one by two and then p of e by e2 e by e2 means what e means what drawing a red ball probability of drawing a red ball from second bag e2 means selecting second bag probability of drawing red ball from second bag so in second bag how many red are there two two favorable out of total total how many are there eight two by eight is what one by four now the question is you have drawn a ball and that is red already and what is the probability that it is from it is from first bag means they want you to find it is the event occurred is e e means what we got a red ball what is the probability that it is from first bag means they want p of e1 by e and by bayes theorem p of e1 by e formula is p of e1 into reciprocal into p of e by e1 divided by we have two events e1 and e2 so some of them same thing p of e1 into p of e by e1 plus p of e2 into p of e by e2 dear students dear students if you have three events in denominator again you'll have plus p of e2 into e by e2 so if e1 e2 e3 en or n events in the denominator will take sum of all so this is base theorem statement what is base theorem formula p of e1 by e can be written as p of e1 into e by e1 divided by p of e1 into p of e by e1 plus p of e2 into p of e by e2 now substitute the values what is p of e1 probability of e1 they give 1 by 2 and e by e1 e by e1 is again 1 by 2 denominator 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus p of e2 what is p of e2 again 1 by 2 p of e by e2 that is also 1 by 2 simplify numerator is 1 by 4 denominator 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 sorry this is 1 by 4 p of e by e2 is what 1 by 4 so now 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, 1 by 8. So 1 by 4, denominator is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 4 is 1 by 8. So for 4 and 8, LCM is 8. So it become 2 plus 1. Further, I can write 1 by 4 into 8 by 3. 4 ones are 4 twos are 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is the probability. I hope all of you got this. What is probability? 2 by 3. What is the question? They have found out a red ball. What is the probability that it is from first bag? So we read this probability of selecting a first bag given that red ball occurred. Conditional probability. Writing this, symbolizing this and writing base theorem. Next. One of the students in a college, out, uh, sorry, of the college, of the students in a college, it is known that 60% reside in hostel. And 40% are day scholars. Day scholars means those who are not in hostels. And previous year results report that 30% of all the students who reside in hostel attain A grade. 20% of day scholars attain A grade. They are in annual exam. At the end of the year, one of the student has chosen at random from the college. And he has got a, he has an A grade. What is the probability that student is an hostler? Again, read it and divide it into events. So now let me divide it into events. E1, student is a hostler. Is a hostler. E2, not a hostler. Our student is a day scholar. Student is a day scholar. E is a common event. Common event is what? Getting A grade. A grade. So, like that, first read the situation and divide it. Now, symbolize it. What is P of E1? Probability of student is hostler. So, 60% reside in hostler. 60 out of 100. Per means divided by cent means 100. So, probability means what? 60 out of 100. Favorable by total. So, that is 0, 0 cancels. And uh, 2, 3 is a 2, uh, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 5 is a 10. And P of E2 means what? Student is a day scholar. What is the day scholar? They give 40%. 40 
by 100. 0, 0 cancels. 2, 2 is a 2, 5 is a. And P of E by E1. P of E by E1. E by E1 means what? He got an A grade is an Astler. Probability of getting A grade by an Astler. Given that E is an Astler. So they have given. So last year results report that 30% of the students who reside in Astler get A grade. So that is 30%. 30 by 100. 3 by 10. P of E by E2. Probability that he will get an E grade. Uh, sorry. Probability of a grade student, A grade student is a day scholar. So, 20%. 20 by 100. 0, 0 cancels 1 by 5. Now, the question is, they have selected a student. Already they selected a student from the college. And they also told he got A grade also. What is the probability that he is from hostel? So, he got A grade. He got A grade means, given that A grade occurred, means denominator is E. E1 means what? What is the probability that E is from hostel? So E is from hostel. They want P of E1 by E. So again use best theorem. What is P of E1 by E? P of E1 by E is P of E1 into P of reciprocal of this. E by E1 by P of E1 into P of E by E1 plus P of E2 into P of E by E2. This is base theorem formula. If you have E3, then it will become plus P of E3 into P of E by E3. But we have only two events in the situation and both are exclusive and exhaustive. Exclusive means what? No common element. Exhaustive means what? If you combine, you will get all the students of college. That is sample space. Now, what is P of E1? 3 by 5. What is P of E by E1? 3 by 10. Denominator, again 3 by 5. 3 by 10. Plus P of E2. What is P of E2? 2 by 5. P of E by E2, 1 by 5. Now, 9 by 10 5s are 50. Divided by 9 by 50 plus 2 by 25. Now, further I will take LCM 9 by 4, 50 50 cancels. You will get 9 by 13. 9 by 13 is the answer. Or you can divide it and write in decimals also. Use calculator and divide. You are using upside. Calculator is allowed for second years. And leave it if it is not divisible. Then, in answering a question of multiple choice test, a student either knows the answer or guesses. So he will answer, but two methods. He knows the answer and he answered, and he will guess an answer. And both they give. And 3 by 4 is a probability that he knows the answer. 1 by 4 is a probability that he guesses the answer. And assuming that, student guesses at the answer and will be correct with the probability 1 by 4. He guesses and is correct is 1 by 4. And what is the probability that student knows the answer given that he is answered correctly? He knows and he already answered correctly. Divide them into events. Three situations are there. He knows the answer, he guesses the answer and he is correct. So, we will divide them. So, let E1. E1 is what? Student knows the answer. And E2. What is E2? Student guesses the answer. E2. Student guesses the answer. And guess the answer. And common event is what? He is correct. Event E. Student is correct. He may be correct by knowing or he may be correct by guessing also. So, event E. Common event is what? He is correct. Now, symbolize what is given. So now P of E1, P of E1 means what? Probability that student knows the answer. They gave 3 by 4 is the probability that he knows the answer. 3 by 4 they have given. P of E2, what is P of E2? He guesses the answer. And 1 by 4 is the probability that he guesses. This is also given. And P of E by E1, what is meant by E by E1? So given he answered correctly and he knows the answer. So sorry, here P of E by E1 means P of probability of answering correctly by known. He knows. So, given that, he knows. See, dash means what? Given that. Probability of he answered correctly. E means answering correctly. Given that, he knows the answer. So, they told <coughs> probability that, assuming that student guesses that the answer will be correct 
1 by 4. Guesses that the answer is 1 by 4, it, they told. That means P of E by E2, they told. P of E by E2 is 1 by 4. And P of E by E1 will be 1 minus 1 by 4, that is 3 by 4. Probability that he answered correctly and he knows is 3 by 4. Probability that he answered correctly by guessing is 1 by 4. This they gave 1 by 4, this will be 1 minus 1 by 4. Now the question is what is the probability that, see here they told what is the probability that student knows the answer given that he answered correctly. So given that he answered correctly means this E and E1 knows the answer given it occurred. So again they want P of E1 by E. By base theorem what is P of E1 by E? P of E1 by E. See, so after this slash, whatever I am writing, occurred. What already occurred? He is correct. He is correct. What is the probability that he knows and he is correct? Means they want P of E1 by E. What is P of E1 by E? P of E1 into P of E by E1 by P of E1 into P of E by E1 plus P of E2 into P of E by E2. So substitute P of E1 is 3 by 4. P of E by E1 is uh, sorry P of E1 is also 3 by 4. This is also 3 by 4. Into P of E by E1 1 by 4. Sorry denominator. So go to denominator. 3 by 4 3 by 4 plus E2. What is E2? 1 by 4. E by E2. 1 by 4. Now 9 by 16. 9 by 16. 1 by 16. 9 by 16. 10 by 16. Cancels. 9 by 10. Point 0.9. What's the answer? Next. A laboratory blood test 99% effective in detecting the certain diseases and uh, it is in, in fact present. So, however, the test also yields a false positive result for 0.5 percent. 90 uh, of the healthy people, healthy persons tested means healthy persons also it is showing positive means it is not uh, 100 percent accurate. So, therefore, with the probability of so 0 0.005, the test will imply he has a disease. See, Laboratory blood test is 99% effective, not 100% in detecting a particular disease, a disease when it is in fact present. So if disease is there, 99% it will say disease is there. Sometimes though disease is not there, it will show positive result. However, the test yields false positive 0.5%. Means what? Disease is not there, but it will give positive that is 0.5% of the healthy persons. And if 0.1% population actually has disease, what is the probability that a person has the disease given that test is also positive? So we have three cases. We will divide them into events. E1, E2, E. E1 is person is healthy. Person is healthy. Means he do not have any disease. E2 is what? Person is disease. Person is having disease. Is having disease. So here, hmm, person is having disease. E is test is positive. Test is what positive. So now symbolize what is given. Symbolize what is given. P of E1. P of E1 means uh, person is healthy. And they told 0.1% of population is having disease. 0.1% is disease. Healthy is how much? Remaining. So, remaining is what? 100% minus 0.1%. Means healthy is 99%. 99 minus, sir, 100 minus 0 0.1. 100 minus 0 0.1 gives you 99.9%. They are healthy. Means what? 99.9 out of 100 are healthy means if I shift 0 0.999 are healthy. P of E2, what is P of E2? Probability of people with disease. See here, 0.1 percent 
actually disease so healthy i got uh, disease is what 0 0.1 percent 0 0.1 by 100 or uh, we'll do one thing we'll convert them into fraction 999 by 1000 so it will be easy for us to calculate can i write 999 by 1000 and this will be 1 by 1000 then p of e by e1 p of e by e1 means what e means what test is positive for a healthy person test is positive for a healthy person means it also gives a false positive result for 0.5 percent so that is 0.5 percent means 0 0.5 by 100 means what 5 by 1000 to calculate easily i am doing it and p of e by e2 means what p of e by e2 means what test is positive test is positive and the person is also disease having disease so test is positive and person is means this is 0.5 percent means false remaining it is true okay then 0 0.1 percent population has actual disease i want e by test is positive and person is having disease remaining uh, 95% test is positive see here e means what test is positive and e is having disease here test is positive is not having disease is not having disease 95.5% here test is positive and is healthy test is positive and is having disease is 95.5% that is 955 by 100 by 1000. Now use base theorem. They want P of what is the question? What is the probability that the person has disease given that test is positive? So means they want P of E1 by E. What is P of E1 by E? P of E1 into P of E by E1 plus P of E1 into P of E by E1 plus P of E2 into P of E by E2 because we have two mutually exclusive events compile it. P of E1 is how much? 999 by 1000 and this is also 999 by 1000 into E by E1 is 5 by 1000. Sorry, this is E by E1, this is E by E2. Hmm. 5 by 1000 plus P of E2. What is P of E2? 1 by 1000 into p of e by e2 e by e2 is 955 955 95.0 sorry 0.5% right so 0.5% by 90 99.5 or without disease 99.5 or without disease this is 995 or without disease 995 are truly deceased people and test is also positive so 995 it is I'll write it clearly so remaining remove 0.5 percent remove 100 minus 0.5 is 99.5 so 995 so now that is 995 so this is E by E2 is. So now you can take uh, common 990. So if you take this cancels and here into I forgot to write E by E1. What is E by E1? 5 by 1000. Now remaining 5 by 5 by 1000. 5 by 1000 plus 995 by 1000. So now if you take 5 by 1000, let it be. So in denominator 995 plus 5 becomes 1000 by 1000. So you get 0 0.005. Thousand thousand cancels you are getting five by thousand is left out. That is zero point zero five by thousand zero zero five. This is a probability. Okay, all of you got this. 
In today's class, I have done problems in Bayes theorem. P of E1 can be written as P of E1 by E can be written as P of E1 into E by E1 divided by P of E1 into P of E by E1 plus P of E2 into P of E by E2 plus P of E3 into P of E by E3. So like that, depending on where E1, E2, En are what? Mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. So the problems what I have done are the basic problems of the excess. Please sit and revise them and attend my next session. Thanks for attending. I will see you in my next session. Thank you.